In this video, we're going to take apart this microprocessor and find out exactly what the shared technological DNA is and how it enables CPUs to work. And just to be clear, the technological DNA is not transistors and it's not logic gates, but rather it's an architectural design and basic operational principle that's fundamental to microprocessors and differentiates these chips from other integrated circuits. So stick around and let's dive right in. This video is sponsored by Brilliant. Let's begin with a quick 3D animated teardown of this MacBook Pro. When we open it up, we find a range of different components such as the touchpad, battery cells, speakers, a cooling fan, and the motherboard in the center. Mounted to the motherboard are the solid state drive or SSD storage chips, where all your files are saved, and a range of other chips. Underneath the heat pipe, we find the DRAM, which is the short-term working memory and central processing unit. Let's desolder the DRAM and CPU and open it up. Inside, we find three parts. On the top is a protective cover that conducts and dissipates heat. On the bottom is an interposer with thousands of connection points on either side and wires running inside of it and soldered onto the interposer is the integrated circuit, or IC, which is also called a die, and is the functional part of the CPU. On the die, we can see the complex design of billions of transistors and wires organized into different sections, such as the four high-performance computational cores, four energy-efficient cores, graphics processing cores, cache memory, and many other sections. Let's zoom in on one of the performance cores, where we find that it's separated into different functional blocks, which we'll add labels to and then reorganize into an architectural diagram. This diagram illustrates how data and instructions move around a single processing core in the CPU, and, although it's rather complicated, you'll understand how it works by the end of this video.